Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Jugas. We're doing a diverse world today. It's a map by map or three minute time challenge. And we have like a, a rickshaw kind of thing. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about something that I'm probably gonna get completely wrong. I definitely want to go over by Cambodia and Indonesia. Definitely, 100%. I don't believe it could be anywhere else. Now it is a little bit more rounded. So could that be Bangladesh? But Bangladesh also uses the script kind of like Indonesia. So because of the roundedness, it's gotta be Sri Lanka. I doubt this is gonna be native India. That completely went 180 real fucking fast. Ah, uh, Sri Lanka, based on the script. Now, I've never been good with distinguishing languages. Uh, I could barely distinguish uh, English from any other language, let alone Spanish from Italian or French or anything like that. Uh, and I guess all these people knew that the Google car was coming, so they're all out here saying hello. But, yeah, no, we're fucked. We can try and find a sign that's gonna say Sri Lanka. It probably will. I wonder if this seven is important. That could be like route seven. Uh, however, it doesn't look like that's the way the number system works. Unless we're in the wrong country. So seven doesn't matter unless it's a kilometer marking. I could just be marking the pole. I don't see too many of them, but the ones I have been seeing, they don't have any markings in them. I don't know what it means. Hopefully it's like a kilometer marking. It would have been really great if it was a road marking, but it, it probably isn't. So then we need to focus on something else to tell us where we are. Now, if we are confident in Sri Lanka, then we're not confident in the town in Sri Lanka. So my concern, do we use the landscape, because we do have a hill to our west. Uh, I don't really see anything to our east. And there's nothing really in the sky because it's cloudy, so we can't even use the sun to try and get angles, which we're gonna start doing that. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna try to calculate degrees over. It's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, you're really not. So what is it? You're supposed to be able to stick your fist out. And I believe your fist out is 10 degrees. So from the horizon to the top of your fist is 10 degrees. And based on that, you should be able to get a distance from the equator. I would, no, yo, yeah, you guys are probably like, yeah, right math, like you're gonna fucking do that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the distance correct. We actually had a pretty good guess. But that should help you calculate distance from the equator. Uh, and it sounds crazy, but people do this. Uh, like people in the wild, a lot of people do it for astronomy. They like stick their arm out. And I think from like your thumb to the tip of your pinky is like 20 degrees or something. Maybe it's 15. I forget the exact amounts. I read an article. That was it. It gave me this idea. You guys are gonna be like, Matthew, you're crazy. Don't even fucking do it. But I gotta relay the information. You know, that's the whole point. And uh, there's a chance that you can calculate. Like here's the sun, right? The sun's right here. The fist is probably the size of the house, right? From a distance, maybe a little bit bigger. So it's probably like right here. So this is about 20 degrees up which should technically put you, I think, within 30 degrees of the equator, so we're probably very close. Uh, and that doesn't actually tell you if you are in the north or the south. It does kind of feel like the United States. It could be near Mexico. Uh, but this definitely feels like Arizona, maybe. Maybe Texas. We do have a stop sign, so we can probably forget about Mexico and Guatemala. Uh, there is a church over here. If we get closer, can we get language off of it? I would love to go that way, but it doesn't look like we can, which means it's probably not the United States because it's limited coverage. That's Spanish, I'm pretty sure. We'll make the turn. Here's some language. The Sutherland Hotel, Karu Cumbus. Uh, the fact that it's Sutherland, I wanna say Australia, New Zealand. We're definitely on the left-hand side the Karoo Hogland Municipality. And I thought it was Spanish. I don't actually know where we are. Uh, but we're definitely on the left. And that's, that's big. 
the OK Mini Mart with the bus that we typically see in South Africa. All right, and Andromeda, um, which is the name of a galaxy, which it's that's actually weird. We were talking about astronomy, and now we're getting astronomy named things. Uh, a lot of people are walking. I don't know if that's big or what. Not a lot of cars. Not a lot of information. I don't think it's Kenya. I don't think it's Uganda. Uh, it could be Uganda. No, we're driving. We're driving on the left. It could be Uganda. Um. I don't think it's Kenya, although we can't see the vehicle. No, Fraserburg, S A A O. Uh, maybe we can get away with somewhere, but uh, not a good one. Not a good one. Um, fuck. I don't know where else it could be though. I really don't. It's probably not Ghana. It's probably not Nigeria. I don't think it's Kenya. It is Dutch, kind of. So then it's got to be South Africa. Somewhere over here. Sutherland. Can we find Sutherland in like 10 seconds? Please? Here's a Fontaine. A bunch of Fontaines. I don't see Sutherland anywhere. We're out of time. Hopefully we did decent we actually didn't do too bad uh which is definitely pretty good but uh we should have basically had that locked down from the beginning and we didn't so that definitely sucks uh but not much we can do about it now and if you look around a lot of these town names are weird nika shoop you know so the we should have we should have realized it was dutch earlier than we did and we didn't dirt Gravel, Sandish Road, Sunfields to the South, could be Eastern European. Although, if we were to get a no moving spot here, we would be fucked. Right? We would be screwed. Uh, it does seem rather flat. I can't tell what crops they're trying to grow. That might be of use to somebody. No moving would have screwed us. Uh, the fact that it was a dirt road, there's an EU plate, there's the kilometer marking. Kind of puts us in a region. We might be able to get away with Denmark. It does kind of feel flat. We do have these cold birch trees, which would also technically be South uh, Norway, South Sweden, South Finland. Definitely flat. Not too many red houses. So we might be able to get rid of Sweden, although that is kind of a terrible way to go about it. Maybe Poland. Maybe Germany. I don't really know why Germany, but it's near Poland and it's near Denmark. So it probably deserves to be there. Although I don't want to say Germany. Uh, we did find a road. We are on the right hand side. No good information from trucks, although we do have another EU plate. There's a green sign over here. And we got Binduzuka. Uh, I don't really see that as being a language I recognize. Uh, the Z is interesting. I don't believe there's a lot of Z's in Poland. I know there are. Um, but it's more of a letter that you don't see too often. I think we can get away with Poland here. It's definitely not a letter you're going to see a lot of in Nordic countries. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a Z in a Nordic country. Although you guys might be like, are you kidding me, Math? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, we're going to move for Poland here. I don't think it's going to be Germany, especially since a lot of German coverage is, is more towards the Netherlands. Fuck. Now we did have little look at language, but not enough. Oh man, I was hoping that was going to be the concrete fucking Romanian telephone pole that we were able to finally fucking get down. Ah, that's actually Hungary, Romania. Maybe we get away with Romania here. 
This is the uh, the Romanian Hungary Pole. And it ends up being Poland. We should have stayed in fucking Poland. Um, and we only moved it because of that concrete fucking pole. Which I thought you guys said every time you see that it's either Hungary or Romania. Uh, which means either I misunderstood you guys or they have them in Poland too. Uh, so we, we lost some points there. We're still in the runnings, but that definitely puts a damper on things. Uh, we have an electronic sign that appears to be turned off. Either that or Google did not capture the image. We are on the right-hand side with yellow markers. It kind of feels oversaturated, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is the United States. Uh, although, it doesn't really feel like it. Yeah, they're using meters and no passing signs. So, oversaturated camera. Right-hand side. First, we're going to look at language. It could be Norway. E16 and 2, Mara colon. Uh, I'm pretty sure the fact that this is taped off means they're going through something. Uh, so, we're on E16. We're not on 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we do have another chance at a sign. Stop. Yeah, we're probably in Norway. Could be Denmark, probably in Norway. Uh, we need to find, I think it was 16 and 2. We can go back to that sign. And I believe there was language on it. We also have this. Uh, Oslo is 92 kilometers north of us. So we're probably down here. On E16, here's E6, 18, 18. 1822 Where's 16? Where the fuck is 16? Here's 16. All right. Uh if it's north of us Does this go south? Does this turn into 16? It doesn't. Okay. Uh we're also near Scarns. Can we find Scarns North? No? I'm so confused. Uh, we also need to find E2. Because that's kind of where we are. Does Oslo have an E2? Come Well, not E2, just regular 2. Here's 4. Not really. So we're 92 kilometers away from Oslo. I want to say it's north of us, which means we have to be down here. We have to be. Um, and I don't want to go too far because I've usually been wrong. I mean, we don't have to. We could be over here. Fuck. We could be up here, can't we? I still don't see any of these sign names anywhere, and I'm probably just missing them. We've probably gone over them several times. And we're just here's two over here. That makes me want to guess over here. Um, cause this doesn't have to be north of us. This is just E16 over here. And here's Scarns, which is 21 kilometers. As I was about to move it a lot closer, uh, we end up only two miles away. We would have put it over here. Not bad. I'm glad we uh, we went the right way. I'm pretty sure this was on the screen the entire time, and you guys were probably freaking out. Uh, but we are looking over here, over here, down here, everywhere but over here. Uh, so still in the runnings, although it's going to be a close game depending on this one. We're probably, we're actually not in Japan. Uh, you can see the back of the car right here. And we're on the right hand side of the road, so this is Taiwan. 100% Taiwan. Although, hold on, I'm clicking Japan. Let's go back to that sign as this slowly gets out. Any rounded characters. There's a few. We have some down here and some over here. It's probably Korea. It's probably South Korea. Uh, because obviously North Korea doesn't have coverage. Uh, we do have 59. We're never going to find that. As we get closer to the major sign, we have... Yang Yang, which sounds familiar, Gang Nung, which sounds familiar, and the other two do not. So, now we begin the struggle of getting this to match up. Um, just a little bit more. Here's Gang Nung, and here's Yang Yang. So, that's 7, 6, and 59. We're going to have to go in real fucking far here. 
Here's six. I feel like we're still, we're on six. We're coming up to the six and 59 and seven. Uh, so here's seven, here's six. Now we need to find 59. And that's in 300 meters of where we are. And this could go on for a while. Uh, all of these small little roads very well could be it. As you can see, they're not really marked very well. I wonder if it could be down here. Here's 50. No. So it's somewhere along this road towards 65. Um, it could be a very small road. It might not even be marked. But this is coming up. We are heading east, so we're heading this way. Uh, and I, I don't know where 69 could be. Uh, but we did find road numbers in South Korea, which is very uncommon. Uh, here is the 59 junction. It looks like we're on 6 still. If we could find 59, that would be great. I don't think we're going to, though. I don't think we are. Because um, it's somewhere along this road, and we have to be really far zoomed in to even have a chance at finding the road. And there's a good chance it's not even showing us the roads. Like, this could be 59. It very well could be. It's probably not even marked. God damn it. We're still going to have a decent guess in South Korea. Decent. Not great, but decent. So, I hope that does make up for it. And hopefully we could pull off a win here. But, couldn't find 59 anywhere. And we end up winning off of Korea. Ends up being a little bit further back. Can we see 50? This is supposed to be 59 right here. It's not even marked. Unless it's this road. Or over here somewhere. It's not even anywhere. So, not marked. Not bad. We end up winning. We end up winning. Well, let's check out the full results because that's what you guys are here for. Uh, High score. Coming in first place. And it looks like it's a real close game all the way through. Uh, so we beat Taurus by about 1,500 points. We had a really good South Africa guess. We didn't do so great in Poland. Norway wasn't terrible. South Korea was really good. And Sri Lanka. Uh, and then Screenshot the World coming in third. Only about 200 points behind Taurus. Uh, also getting Poland correct. It happens. I'm uh, going with Lesotho instead of South Africa. And then hmm, 59 coming in fourth. Uh, looks like everyone did pretty good. Going with Japan instead of Korea. Which we almost made that mistake. Getting Poland correct. Getting Norway correct. But the wrong spot in Norway. And then it looks like the middle of South Africa. Overall not bad. Uh, definitely a lot better than I thought we were going to end up with. Um, clearly we, we just got lucky. Uh, we were able to recognize Korea. We found the correct town names in Korea. Which doesn't happen and then we got the correct road in korea uh which is like a one in a million fucking chance because they're not marked well so i'm really happy about this game clearly we could have done a little bit better we saw concrete poles and immediately went with romania hungary we gotta remember that i guess they're in poland we wanted to guess poland originally so we would have definitely had a higher score had we guessed poland it looks like that was our worst round at 3500 points but like it could have been a lot worse a lot worse uh but that is going to be it for the day so thank you all so much for being here i really hope you all enjoyed uh and we'll be back on monday for another stream and another episode so there's going to be two links in the description uh make sure you do both of them if you are interested in playing all you do need is a free account uh and i'll see you guys live on monday at noon eastern i believe this is the last noon eastern stream on monday before daylight savings comes uh which means after i believe it happens march 8th so the march 9th stream would be at 1 p.m eastern even though that's technically 12 p.m eastern because we jump forward an hour makes sense so it's gonna be the same time for me it's gonna be 12 p.m eastern but you guys are gonna be an hour later because of daylight savings yeah daylight savings is confusing i know 
but I gotta start warning you guys now so that you guys are prepared. But until then, guys, I do hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all then. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and bye-bye.